We're here with R.D. Evans, first time out at Beyond Wrestling. Gonna ask you, what have you gotten out of Beyond Wrestling so far? What do you make of it? I don't know. I'm uh, a little bit disturbed, to be perfectly honest. I was kidnapped in the middle of the night, blindfolded, and then told to get my wrestling gear, which was incredibly difficult given the fact that I had a blindfold on. I had to shuffle through all of my clothing and say, are these my wrestling boots or are these my go-go boots? It took a whole lot of time, but then I got in the van and they brought me to this CD super villains lair. And I see a very long fire hose in the background. I don't know what's going to be done with that. It certainly is beyond wrestling. Well, Mr. Evans, what's something that you hope to get from, from being here in the future, if, if not today? Well, I mean, I liked modern literature, and so when someone said to me, hey, here's some post-modern literature, I was like, well, okay, I guess it's the next evolution of modern literature. And I like wrestling, and so if someone's going to tell me that there's beyond wrestling, the next evolution, uh, I guess I'll give it a go. Awesome, man. Have fun today. Try not to get hurt. It's, it's pretty seedy in here. Very nerve-wracking. Anything we could do to make it a little bit more comfortable for you? I think I'll be all right. I just have to get in my hermetically sealed zone. I call it the no pressure zone. I like to tape off my area before the match, do a little bit of yoga. Everyone else is here to hang out with their peers, not me. No, I don't know anybody here. I tell them, when I tape off my zone, don't talk to me, don't look at me, no eye contact. Just leave me to myself, and I'll take care of everything. I've done that so far. I think, uh, I think I read up on the lineup, you got Pinky Sanchez today. What do you, how do you feel about that? I have no idea who that is. I try to not pay any attention to any of the other people in this locker room. I am R.D. Evans. They are who they are. I go in there, and I just say to myself, whoever it is, I will have to feed them. If it's a bear, I can do that. If it's a woman, I can do that. If it's some sort of machine, I am fully prepared and equipped to handle anything that you put in front of me. This is beyond wrestling, so I expect beyond a standard wrestling opponent. All right, well, I'm gonna let you, I'm not gonna take up too much more of your time, but let me give you a nice little tip. One of the big benefits of being at Beyond Wrestling is you get to scout some of your opponents since you are gonna be around ringside, so you might wanna take advantage of that. Best of luck to you. I'm in the zone.